Despite the existence of numerous other outstanding antivirus products, the question arises, is Avira antivirus worth for our consideration? In this review, we will delve into its features, security ratings, and overall performance, also talking about the pricing. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam, and if you would like to check it out, then you can do so from the discount link in the description below. TLDR. Avira Antivirus stands out as one of the most popular and secure antivirus solution currently available. Its appeal lies in its simplicity, extensive features, and a complementary version that offers a risk-free trial without any cost. What makes Avira particularly noteworthy is its consistent high ratings in independent testing, affirming its status as one of the most secure antivirus programs. Our own in-house testing further confirms its exceptional malware detection rates and unwavering real-time protection. It has its limitations like the free version lacks the web protection and customer support has delayed response. Getting that out of the way, let's talk in detail about the components. Avira covers essential security features for safeguarding devices against malware threats. Notable features include virus scanner that provides in customizable scan options for malware detection that is quick, full and smart scans. Quick scan checks for the most vulnerable areas of the device and is most efficient in quickly scanning for malware, whereas full scan digs everywhere for the threats. However, it does take time. For me, it took me around 32 minutes and detected 9 out of 10 viruses that I planted manually. Smart scans identify privacy performance issues, malwares, outdated apps, and network threats. Real-time protection needs no explanation. It constantly checks the file you are accessing or interacting with. If it recognizes anything, then it goes straight into the quarantine. That's how all antivirus programs work. Even the free version can check and tell you about the outdated apps so that you can keep everything up to date. Though updating the apps directly from Avira is exclusive to paid subscription. Every edition of Avira includes the firewall functionality within the application. Remarkable initially, it proves valuable in practice. It eliminates the need to navigate through the Windows Security tab to toggle your firewall setting on or off. In addition to core security features, Avira offers some extra features and these are very useful, I would say. With the Prime subscription, they also provide an unlimited VPN. However, with Avira free version, it is limited to mere 500 MB per month and you cannot choose location. A password manager is also made it to the plan. It feels good that you don't have to pay for a separate password managing app. Saving passwords, generating new ones, browser extensions, two-factor authentication are obvious features that you will find in any password manager. However, it doesn't help with form filling. Safe shopping is another extension that helps you identify safe and malicious websites. Not only that, it can help us find the best prices for a specific product too. A file shredder is there if you need. Avira also has privacy settings to help us tweak the settings to protect from Microsoft collecting our personal information. Avira had crypto mining feature too that lets you mine. But since you cannot mine Ethereum now, this feature is removed. Avira also has some performance related features too. These are self-explanatory so we will quickly go through them. Optimizer detects and deletes unnecessary files and cookies, battery saver, driver updater, duplicate file finder, and advanced tools helps to boost startup performance by 20 to 25%. Avira extends its security to smartphones as well through its app available for both Android and iOS. The mobile version offers similar features to the desktop version, including anti-theft, app pin protection, and network scanning for free. And two paid features are microphone and camera protection. Coming down to the pricing, it has three paid plans and a surprisingly a free one too. As you can see the pricing on the screen, they have discounts from time to time. So make sure to check out the link in the description before you make that purchase decision. You see, the pro version provides protection for one device against viruses and safe shopping, whereas internet security adds password manager, software updater, and device cleaning tools. And if you need protection for five devices plus VPN and mobile app, then Avira Prime is the way to go. Is Avira a good antivirus? In my opinion, Avira is a good and reliable pick as an antivirus solution. Its independent lab test results and consistent high malware detection rates, lightweight design and feature-rich offerings include VPN and a password manager contribute to its status. However, for the full package, you have to opt for the most comprehensive plan. Customer support wise too, paid members get email and phone support, whereas the free version lacks direct tech support. That's it for today. Hope you guys found this video 
video helpful. Now, if you are looking for the best cloud storage service, then do check out this video right here. And if you are looking for the best PDF apps, then this one. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.